My name is Edward Sanchez and I'm going to be telling you an urban legend of a convict who escaped from an insane asylum. The part of the popular motif with urban legends are that they sound like they have groundings in day-to-day -day life truths. Uh, they particularly play upon fears of uh, sometimes women and their encounters with men. And this story starts off with news reports going around about a convict who escaped from an insane asylum. It's really a notice toward everyone, but in general to women, to be on the lookout for this guy. Uh, part of his M.O. is that he likes to hide in women's cars in the back of the car and there is this one woman in particular one day who's at a gas station and she fills up her pump and goes in to pay for the gas comes out and when she comes out she notices there's a guy in the car guy in a car behind her an African American guy who seems like he's trying to tell her something but you know she's kind of fearful and so she just hurries up and gets in her car and starts to drive off and when she's part way down the road she happens to notice that the guy the African American guy she saw behind her at the gas station is right behind her and in addition to following her he's honking his horn and flashing his lights at her and she, you know, of course becomes frightened at, at this and so she grabs her phone and she calls her husband and she's telling him, you know, this guy is following me, uh, I'm almost home, you know, please be there when I get there. And the husband happens to have a gun in the house. And so the wife drives to the house, hurries up, jumps out of the car, and the husband is outside at this point with the gun and the African American man in the car pulls up right behind her and the husband you know points the gun and but before he can really do anything or say anything the African American man comes out of the car he's like no 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 wait 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 look behind you in your car in your car there's the there's a guy in your car he's right he he uh, jumped right into your car when you went to go in to pay for your gas. And the husband and wife with the gun go look. And indeed, there is a man there in the back of her car. And the husband has him at gunpoint and they call the police. And it turns out that that person is the convict from the insane asylum. And there's, in a way... Uh, the most popular moral of the story that I've seen of this man in the car. Um, one of the main lessons is for people, if you're to leave your car for a second, always lock your car. Because you never know who could not only come in and steal something, but who could go in and wait for you to abduct you or whatever. But the little second underlying motto is don't always judge a book by its cover as the good Samaritan in this story was the African-American man who took a risk to his own personal safety by following this woman and honking his horn and flashing his lights not knowing what she or anyone else would do to him in helping out in this situation but I just have to reiterate that from many of the retellings I'm able to see of this story that the popular lesson here is to lock your car when you leave your car no matter for how long. Okay. Thank you.